partnership with my son Charles. We made the first Friday lobby in a Morris Colina instead of a man pushing it. I handed, I handed over the company to my son. I died on May 17th, 1886. I laid the rest of only in Illinois. Company headquarters are still there today. I am Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. I am a famous, honest aide. I was born in Kentucky. I moved to Indiana, then to Illinois. My dad was a farmer. My family was very poor, and I lived in a law academy. I went to school for only one year. I loved to read books, and that's how I learned many things. I had many jobs before I was president. I was a storekeeper a captain in the Illinois militia, a surveyor, and a postmaster. I then became a lawyer and served in the U.S. Congress. I did not like slavery, and in 1860, I was elected president, which led to the Civil War. On January 1, 1863, I signed the Emancipation Proclamation, which read all slaves in the southern states. On November 19, 1863, I delivered my most famous speech, the Gettysburg Address, 1864, I was elected president again. I held the 13th Amendment to the Constitution passed in January 1865, banning slavery throughout the U.S. On April 9, 1865, the Civil War ended. A week later, while watching a play at Ford's Theater, I was shot by John Wilkes Booth and died the next morning. I was the first president to be assassinated. The end of slavery and the Civil War were not my only accomplishments. I also supported the building of the Transcontinental Railroad and helped people settle the West by giving the land with the Homestead Act. Today, I have a monument in Washington, D.C., and I can be found on the penny in the $5 bill. My friend will let us I had to I had to suck some it's next to you in this graphia, which means my line don't distorted and incorrect. My knowledge of business getting. I was a novice student to not particularly academic. I became a chemist and microbiologist. I also became a professor of chemistry at the University of Strasbourg. This is where I met who we want. In 1949, I was really as five children. Only two children the childhood. Three children died from typhoid. I am one of the father of bacteriology, microbiology, and joint theory of disease. My research led to the breakthrough in the understanding of the causes and prevention of diseases. This is the foundation of, of hygiene. Public health is much more than I developed the vaccine for waiting to access the federal goal. I have gone from significant more to stop that bacterial contamination. This is known as pasteurization. I expanded and control the works of Dennis Law regarding these, these a process of fermentation. I I became the director of the Pastor Institute of Science in 1880. Seven. I remained my director on my death in 1895. I was placed in the vault for these days too. Good afternoon. My name is Edward Howard. I am also known as being the designer of the famous ship, the Titanic. I was born in 1831 in England. When I was 15 years old, I became an apprentice at the engineering shop. It was there I began designing ships. 
Ever from my shipping company in Bathurst, I remember with my house our uncle is so It was called the White Snow Line. Just three years later, we had over 1,000 people helping us build, water, flat, and narrow ships. These ships were used for crossing the ocean. I also got married to a woman named Rosa Matola Wynn. When I was working in Mail Belfast in 1885, I moved to London and served as a member of Parliament. Our company built the most famous ship, the Titanic, in 1909. They told everyone it was the unsinkable ship. Unfortunately, the Titanic hit an iceberg and sank in the Atlantic Ocean. I passed away before the Titanic was built on Christmas Eve, 1895. Thank you. 
very long, which I was not going to I decided to go to a bird colony in South Africa. There I saw a European family with Indian colors. This got me into politics. I got the Indian to non-violent protest against first rule. But I turned to India and became the most powerful public leader. And I was sometimes guilty for my actions. During World War II, <coughs> he won independence from Britain. What made me sad is our country was split in two. India and Pakistan with very different beliefs. But I was shot and killed in 1948, and I'm one of the greatest leaders of the 20th century. You must be, I'll leave you with this message. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. Thank you. 
Orchestra. I was born in 1940. My first plane ride was when I was six. I had a license to fly a plane before I could drive a car. I went to college to learn how to build planes and spaceships. During college, I was sent to fly a fighter jet in the Korean War. After that, I got my ne next job as a test pilot. I have flown over 200 types of planes. After that, I got my next job as a astronaut. Uh, I have the outer space, but I am most famous for my trip to the moon. You will say it was a noise to put the force forces on the moon in July 1969 after the Apollo 11 and did just that. You will say it was a noise to put the force forces on the moon in July 1969 after the Apollo 11 and did just that. I stepped onto the moon and said this, at one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. My footprints are still covered up in a layer of dust. I return to Earth a hero. I was welcomed home with parades, infused wood, and 18 day quarantine. I passed away at the age of 82. President Obama excused a statement saying, I was among one of the greatest American heroes, not just of my time, but of all time. Thank you. I was born on March 15, 1933. I'm from New York. My first name was Joan, but there are so many other Jones in my class. I use my middle name Ruth. I went to college at Cornell University and studied about the government. I graduated at the top of my class. This is where I met my husband, Martin. We got married one month after graduation. In 1956, I went back to college at Harvard Law School. Women weren't, supposed, women weren't supposed to be lawyers back then. Professors weren't very nice to us. In the 1970s, I got a older gender equality. I was working hard to make sure men and women were treated equally at their jobs. I worked hard and went to court a lot. I was appointed to the Supreme Court of the United States. That is the most powerful court in the country. I was working hard to make sure to protect women. My nickname came the notorious RBG. I passed away on September 19th, 2020, at the age of 87, but I was still working out twice a week at the gym. Good day. My name is Jane Goodall. I was born in 1934 and I am 89 years old. I grew up loving animals and always wanting to go to Africa to study them. I spent 19 years saving money to go. I worked as a secretary and waitress to earn the money. At 23 years old, I finally had saved enough money and flew to Africa. In 1960, I traveled to Tanzania to study chimpanzees and learn about them. I liked Africa so much, I decided to stay and ended up studying them for the, for the next 40 years. Instead of just giving each chimp a number, I named them based on their behavior. My first chimpanzee I named David Graybeard. I also had chimpanzee companions by the name of Gigi, Goliath, and Mr. McGregor. I learned to speak their language and found out they're a lot like people. I discovered they make tools like humans, they hunt in packs, and eat meat. And they have different personalities. Some are kind, quiet, and generous, while others were bullies and aggressive. I also learned chimpanzees express emotions such as sadness, anger, and joy. A funny fact about me is that I ran inside a chicken house to find out how chickens lay eggs. In 1977, I created a program called the Jane Goodall Institute. I did this to help the chimpanzees all around the world. Today, I still teach people to protect their natural world to help the lives of animals in our environment. Thank you very much for your time. Of Apple, the company that makes computers and 
and cell phone. I also own most of the Pixar Company. I'm a member of the Disney Company. I want to tell you my life as a kid. I was born on February 25th, 1955 in San Francisco, California. I was adopted shortly after my birth. Other than that, I had a pretty normal childhood. My business partner, Steve Wozniak, and I started creating Apple. We created the first personal computer. Computers were so big before they wouldn't fit in your house. We became famous and made a lot of money from selling our Apple II computers. We also designed the drawing software and printers. I left Apple and began working on visual effects and movies with Pixar. I, I, I returned to Apple and made the company better than before. I passed away in 2011 from cancer, but you can still remember me anytime you use the iPhone, Apple Watch, or Mac. I was born on June 24th, 
1997 in Argentina. I am 35 years old. I am in football in the United States. That means a soccer player. I play the forward for the Paris State Germain team. I am the captain of the Argentina national team. I have scored for 800 goals in my career. I was only 13 years old when I went across the ocean to Spain to play in the Barcelona team. Some of my biggest accomplishments are in the Italian life of the Liga Tigers. I hold the record with most goals in the La Liga League. I won a gold medal in the Olympics in Beijing. I won a FIFA Play of the Year six times. Most recently, I helped my team win the 2022 World Cup. I married to my own educational recruiter and have three kids. In 2007, I found the Lama Music Foundation that helped our children around the world. I have a net worth of $100 million. My most famous quote is, but the fight turns you between take sacrifice as well as talent.
Stan Lee. Okay. Logan Reynolds, where were you? Dr. Robinson. Okay. Uh, the Emma there, where were you? Cleopatra. There we go. Right? There's a perfect example that how important, how significant this is. Just like you parents and grandparents back there, for a very long time, remember that we had a queen on our stage and a president and scientists. I remember my son was John Kennedy and my daughter was Anne Frank. That's how significant uh, this is and how special um, these moments are with all these, uh, these kids. Um, first, I just want to say how proud of them, I, how proud I am of them, that they can come up here and speak at that microphone in front of all of you, and especially Allie, who was able to speak and then wait and then do it all over again. Allie. <laughs> making sure they look like they did today. I thank you for that. And grandparents and aunts and uncles and friends who are here. And I always say these are really special moments, so I'm so, so glad to see you here because they know where you are. And as they come on stage, that's the first person, the first people they're looking for is all of you here. So I thank you for being here as well, too. And lastly, I think there needs to be a great round of applause to two wonderful teachers, Mr. Landroy and Mr.